Cowboys and ranchers know the long hours of hard work on their feet and the importance of a well-made, durable, and comfortable cowboy boot. And Moletti's in downtown San Angelo has been crafting those boots for over 100 years. Nathan Mayer went to the shop to see how they do it. Detail, precision, personalization, and tender love and care. That's been the Letty's way since they were founded over 100 years ago, right here in the Concho Valley. And Mel Letty is my grandfather, and he started this business in 1922 in Brady, Texas. And uh, he went to Menard with some of his brothers, and then they came here in 1932. In 1941, ML's brothers ventured out to open a location of their own. Frank and Albert Letty uh, decided they wanted to go in business on their own, so they moved to Fort Worth and opened the Fort Worth store and called it Letty Brothers. And if we couldn't make people happy with a boot or a saddle, we'd send them to see Frank or Albert. Frank or Albert couldn't make them happy, they'd send them down here to see their brother ML. When the brothers were ready to retire, they sold the store to ML. They decided with two locations, they could specialize each store. And that's when we decided then we'll make our saddles there and our boots here. Though boots can sometimes look similar, Allen says that a Letty boot is 100% you through and through. From the outside design to specified inner arch, the fit is what makes their boots shine. Almost like a tattoo. You can design it like you want, but we are first going to concentrate on the fit. We use a 40-penny nail for our arch support, and this is what we're known for. Our ML Lady Boot customers say they can wear their Lady Boots 24-7. To see the process behind an ML Lady Boot being made, we got a tour from one of the experts at Letty's, Jason McClelland. The first step is to cut the leather to size. You know, down here on this belly, and then this being kind of around on the side there. From the first station, we make the quick travel to the crimping room. The crimping process really kind of helps form the leather. Um, these pieces here would be the lining, and then what uh, Lord Roger's doing now is he sees the elephant. And so he's kind of starting the forming of the leather. After adding the top bead and sewing the design into the leather, the front and back pieces of the boot are sewed together inside out and then need to be flipped around. It looks like this. So with this high-tech piece of machinery here that we've had for probably as long as the company's been alive, <clears throat> you actually wet it, so you dunk it in here, and then by somewhat hand and somewhat of this, they'll put the pulls on it, the little straddles on the side, and they'll hook this to that, and then they'll step on this pedal, and then they'll slowly turn this inside out. The boot is now starting to come to life as we add the toe box and welt the leather together. What comes next is the staple of a Letty boot. The arch support of a 40 pinning nail is placed into the boot to provide stability for years to come. He beats that into the form of the arch. With the addition of a rubber heel and some final touches, your ML Letty boots are ready to ship. And although Letty's has gained in popularity and made boots for people of fame, they uphold ML's traditions by ensuring they take care of those the store was founded for. Those glamour people that we make boots for are, aren't as important as that Menard County cowboy that has to pay that boot out because we're helping him. That's what we started on was the cowboy boot. My grandfather always said that we would have a boot that would be uh, the price of a cow working cowboy's wages, and we do. And we start there, and that boot can last that cowboy 20 years. With quality, detail, and care always top of mind, Alan says they are truly one of a kind, just like your boots. There's nothing out there like an ML Eddie. Reporting from ML Eddie's, I'm Nathan Mayer.